Well, welcome back once again to Three Zen. This next story I have for you is about a set of twins that came through Vance uh, when I was a 38 IP there, Frank and Peter Nates. Now, these two guys were from uh, Belgium, and uh, they weren't in my flight, uh, but I had, uh, I had the opportunity to watch them um, as they progressed through the program. I actually um, was attached to their flight to fly as uh, guest help, but I never flew with uh, either of them. At any rate, uh, I think I first took note of them in uh, the officers club. One of the uh, twins um, was really gregarious, uh, outgoing, and the other one was very, very reserved, quite shy. But uh, they were both very good guys. Once um, the first story with these two that comes to mind is uh, when they were in T-37s. And one of them had gone up on a check ride from um, a command uh, flight examiner. We were in the middle of an inspection and one of the brothers got chose to fly with this uh, flight examiner um, just on a normal check ride. So he goes up on his check ride and he comes down and the check pilot says, look, he says, we'll debrief in a say in five minutes, he says, why don't you go get a cup of coffee or Coke or whatever, and we'll meet in the flight room. Okay, fine. So they split up and go their own ways. And uh, the flight examiner comes back into the flight room here a couple minutes later, and he, he sees uh, one of the twins, and he says, okay, you ready to debrief? And the twin started to object or say something, and the flight examiner said, listen, he said, we can chat about that later. He says, I've got to go fly here in a little bit. I don't have a lot of time. So the twins said, what the hell? So he sits, see, he sits down and lets the guy debrief him. The only problem was the uh, flight examiner had flown with his brother. His brother later came in the room and was just kind of standing off to the side like, like this, listening to the, the uh, check pilot debrief his brother. Never said a thing about it. No one ever knew the difference. The great sheet went through and they went on. But uh, that's one of the stories that came to mind with these two. Um, like I said, just great guys to have around. Unfortunately, the, the story has, the story has a bit of a tragic ending. Uh, they both went back to, uh, Belgium and they went in the same unit flying, uh, F-104s, um, interceptors. And one day on a weather day, they were up flying, uh, both of them were the number two man in, uh, two ship formations. And somehow the air traffic controller got things all botched up. Um, I think they were on different frequencies at the time. They were in, like I said, in weather. And they somehow both got put into the same uh, holding pattern. The problem is at some juncture, they, the two uh, formations were coming together head on. And both leads passed by, but the number two men in each formation hit each other, and it was the two brothers. The one brother, and I'm, I don't know who it was that survived, but the one brother at the last minute saw him, pulled up, and felt the, the other airplane go off his belly. And from uh, what his classmates told me, uh, he knew immediately that he had just hit his brother. And, uh, like I said, that was just such a sad end to that story of these two fellas. Um, but it's just one of the stories I, that I have that I happen to experience. And I still feel sadness for those two because they were such great guys. Anyway, hope everyone's having a good day. Of course, after that story, sorry about that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by.